Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I am excited to bring you from Hot Off the Press, two new stamp sets, um, Magic in the Garden stamps and Winter's Butterfly stamps, okay? The Winter's Butterfly stamps, of course, coordinates with the Jewel Winter's Butterfly paper pack. Um, looks really beautiful together with that. So the Magic in the Garden, um, at first when I looked at it, I thought, is that have a fall look to it? Um, how great for fall? But as we started playing with them, Debbie and I noticed, you know, no, they're not just for fall, and we're gonna show you different ways to use both of these stamp sets. So let's just dive in first with the Magic in the Garden stamps. Um, this is a fall-inspired card. I used the, um, the Dotted Duos number three pack for this and I used this image here which I believe is an oak leaf and what is great about this image is that it's sort of collaged already for you it's got the oak leaf it's got a fern it's got some swirls and it's got the script in the background so you don't have to do any masking or anything you can just stamp that right on there and get to the fun of the coloring so how I colored this was I took one of the blender brushes which are my new favorite thing and I also used some Rusty Hinge Distress Ink. And I went ahead and did a little tapping there. And then of course you gotta blot it a little bit. And then I just went directly over that image. But I didn't really worry about getting um, outside of the lines, okay? It's just that collage look where you're just wanting to get a little color on there. And then I also did the same coloring, the same color around the edges and I used for my rectangle, I used the Torn Edge Rectangles um, from Crafters Companion. I love these, especially if you're not really um, excited about tearing paper. Sometimes it can get a little crooked and you're not really satisfied with the look of how you've torn it. Um, this gives that Torn Edge look uh, without having to stress about it you know, being the right shape. Um, and then I just backed that with a little bit of brown cardstock. And um, I also used... Um, the Basics Cat IQ ink pad, and it's got bronze and gold and silver and black and white, and this is a really great ink pad. And I just did a little bit of the bronze around the outside edge of that. Um, then I wanted to add some sparkles. So this is the Heavy Metal Sequins pack, and um, I just put a few sequins around there so to give it a little bit of sparkle. And it's of course some bronze ribbon, I think that came from our brown ribbon set. Okay, so to give a completely different take on that same stamp set, this one um, I used the fern stamp, so it's got the ferns and the script on there as well. And um, let me show you how I put this one together. Um, the blue barn wood, this is one of my favorite um, papers. It's actually from Country Chic Paper Pack. And then I used the wood grain embossing folder from Hot Off the Press, and I just did some brown craft cardstock and ran that through my die cutting embossing machine. And then I added a little bit of the bronze ink. And I just, what I love about the cat eye Q size is that I don't really need to use an applicator all the time. So I just did that direct to paper. Oops, wah! And um, just added that, that little bit of a shimmer of a bronze right on that brings out that wood grain so beautifully. So then, so I'm going to put that right here. Um, and so then I actually took some from our uh, turquoise um, and teal ribbon set. I just took some sheer ribbon and wrapped it um, around the wood. I forgot to bring a little strand of that. So just imagine that that's wrapped with that um, ribbon. And then I did uh, actually tore a piece of white cardstock like this. And like I said, if, you, if you're not comfortable doing the tearing, um, the rectangle would work. And also this comes in squares as well. It's a great basic tool to have. So then I'm going to bring out my stamping platform, the Misty here. And then to get this sort of variegated look of ink, I'm going to show you how I did that. So you can see here I've kind of done a little bit of ink on this already. Make sure I have this lined up. Wow, not even close. There we go. Okay, and what I did was it kind of mattered. Let's see, I'm going to get some white to put behind this. Here, I'll just use the back of my card. All right, 
So it matters where I place the inks on this. And I'm using about three different shades of ink. So I'm going to take from the green and yellow set, I'm going to take a medium green and getting that right on, there we go, getting that right on the fern. There we go. And then I'm going to take the darker shade and I'm going to go right down the center. I'm kind of turning this to the edge. Here we go, like this. Oops, came apart in my hand. And I'm going to put that right down the center there. Okay. And then, come on, I'm going to use the lighter shade and kind of do that on the tips. There we go. And then I'm going to go to the blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue to the, I'm just going right over the green that is already on the script part, kind of that bled over there. And we're just going to add that, okay? There we go. I'm looking for my last, okay, there we go. Oops, off a little bit. There we go. Use my magnet there, keep everything secure. Okay. Make sure I get a good impression there. If not, it's no problem. It's on my platform, I can always try again, right? All right, so I am not happy with that impression, so I'm going to get a little bit darker, a little bit more ink on the outside edges there. There we are, that's better. All right, so as you can see, and once I get to this point here, right, here we go. Now I'm going to do another little technique using this Cosmic Shimmer Shimmer Shaker, okay? And this particular color is lime. I'm gonna get out my craft mat. Right. I think I'm just going to have to glue this together because it's moving around so much. Okay, there we go. All right, so while that's adhering, I'm going to take a little bit of this lime and mix it with a little bit of water. And I'm going to use my paintbrush. Just do a little bit of blending there. All right, and now I'm just going to do a little tap, tap, tap in order to get a, a spatter. And I want that spatter to go on the white paper that's been stamped, as well as that wood grain. A couple of good, really liquidy ones are good too. All right, there we go. Clean off that brush. All right, so there you have it. I also um, added a little tag here and wanted to show you on the stamp set right here, when I um, inked my stamp to make the tag, I just simply did not add ink to the um, little fern there and went ahead and stamped the greeting only and cut a little tag shape and then attached that to the ribbon and then added a few sequins. This one is the party time sequin tin and it's got great shades of green and aqua, which I love. Okay, let's take a look at another project. All right, here is a gorgeous card that Debbie made. 
Um, this one used this beautiful Winter's Butterfly stamp set. Okay, and she stamped on vellum on this. I just love this. The, it's got wings with some dimension there. Let me show you how she did this. So she stamped it once this full swirl image on vellum. And then she just took her little scissors and just cut around the image. Just not perfectly, just around following the swirls right here. And then she placed that on the uh, coordinating paper from the um, Winter's uh, Jeweled Butterfly paper. And she colored this before she actually glued it down. She colored them using the, a purple Spectrum Noir and also a blue. And let's take a look here. Um, she colored that. <clears throat> let's see if I can get something white back here. Like this. What's great about coloring on vellum here we go. Is that when you're coloring, it may not really pop, but then when you're lifting it up and you're putting some kind of light behind it, it really gives this beautiful color. And then she just added some blue. Oops, I want to use the dark end. I'm using my favorite Spectrum Noir Twi Tri Blend markers. I'm only going to color one wing for the sake of time. You can see it doesn't take long at all. Get that color on there. All right. And so then she, once she had this image done, she cut that out, put that on her card, and then she stamped another image. This one, she didn't bother to get all the swirls and stuff because she's really just interested in that butterfly. So going to color that butterfly the exact same way as the other one, cut the butterfly only out, and then she glued just the body portion of it to the first butterfly so that the wings had some movement there. Just beautiful. Love that. Here's another card that Debbie made. Gorgeous, gorgeous one. Once again, using this beautiful swirl image. This one um, she used here. And just gorgeous, and it's got, um, she used white embossing powder, so she did an image for me here. She did white embossing powder on white cardstock. And I'm going to show you, went back to some shimmer shakers here. It's a shimmer shaker day. So the first thing that she did was for her background here, she used a couple of different colors here to get her background. So the background, she used the gunmetal shimmer shaker and the ocean teal ocean and also the electric blue okay so she used all three of those and to create her background and then she took one of the snowflakes and um, before she did her background she stamped it just as we did here she stamped white snowflakes on the back of her card and then white embossed them and then applied the shimmer shaker and then used a wet wipe just to go over that to take the color off the white embossing. And I'm going to show you how she did that with this top piece here. So for the top card focal, um, she used the denim dash color. So she's already white um, embossed on this particular card. So let's go ahead and get some color on there. Such a wonderful rich blue. There we go. And I probably should have grabbed a bigger brush to apply this, but we're just going to get this on here. Okay, so you're just going to paint that on. And what's great about this background is, is it really, you want it to be kind of modeled. You want it to be kind of like pick up some of that, some darker, some that's less watered down. See, I'm taking, I'm going to put out some more here that's, shake some more out here. So I have a little pile here that's powder. And I have the rest over here that's been added to the water. So you're just going to paint that on. And now I'm picking up some just the powder because I want it to be darker in some areas. And I'll bring it back to her card. See how it's just sort of an uneven color situation? Okay. 
So we're going to be doing that, painting the whole card. Doesn't even really matter with this particular look that we're going for today. You kind of want to paint it in different directions. Here we go. And because when we're done, we're going to use um, a wet wipe on that. So any areas that you miss, it just picks up excess color and it fills in those areas in such a great way. There we go. Oops, I think I'm running out of color here. It's okay, we know how to make more. I'm going to get a little bit. Okay, there we go. Kind of got that all covered there. And what's great about this is you don't want to waste anything that's left on your mat. So you can just take your paper and just do this and just kind of sop off the extra. See how it's kind of got that blotchy, watery look? That's what we're going for. All right, now we're going to take baby wipe, wet wipe, and we're just going to go over that. And what that does is it just blends everything together. It takes the color off the white embossed part, and then you can just kind of like use the wet wipe to get some texture in on that and kind of pick up the extra. There we go. And because um, I should have mentioned she used uh, watercolor paper, um, it's nice and sturdy and it's just soaking up that color and we can even add darker colors to this. So like hers feels like it's darker than mine. So I'm gonna add a little bit more color. And what's great about this is that um, they're all gonna be individual. Yours is gonna look different than mine and mine's a little different than Debbie's as far as the intensity of the color. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up some of this color and use that wet wipe and go back over it to get a little bit more of those darker textures. Here we go. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so as you can see, lots of different techniques today. Um, great versatile stamp sets. Definitely check out the money saver that we have on this. It's a great um, deal. It takes you through your winter cards and all the way through spring and summer. So check out that out. And if you're watching us on YouTube, check out the money saver in the description. And I'll see you next time.